The Senegal River is one of the longest rivers in West Africa. It flows 1,790 kilometers from its source in Guinea through Mali, Mauritania and Senegal. For local populations exposed to poverty and persistent high temperatures, the access to water is essential to produce energy, irrigate the land and have a drinkable water supply. More than one million smallholder farmer families depend on it to obtain food and income. Agriculture is the main livelihood, with over 100,000 hectares of land cultivated with rice in two consecutive seasons from March to November. The rest of the year, the land is left bare and unproductive, favoring wind soil erosion. Because of these four countries and the importance of this river in terms of water, many international organizations, including CARDA, identify this as a strategic area for food security and poverty reduction in West Africa. In 2013, the Swedish Research Council awarded a project to a research team led by ICADA, in collaboration with the SLU University of Sweden, the Mohammed V University of Morocco and the Institutes of Agriculture Research of Senegal and Mauritania. The objective was to deliver heat-tolerant varieties of durum wheat to replace the unproductive fallow period in the areas along the river. For four years, the team planted thousands of possible varieties and none of them succeeded. Until two varieties tolerant to intense heat were discovered, using the biodiverse material available at Icarda's gene bank. So we came in, into the fields, we developed new tools and simple things that could be used to bring a level of research to what it was to what it is today. What it is today is an outstanding breeding platform that allowed us over a three years period to absolutely and comfortably come with the conclusion that durum wheat can be grown in just 92 days, which is a perfect window to fit inside uh, the fallow season between rice cultivation and reaching yields of three tons when it's tested upriver in Kadi where the temperature are very high and four to five tons per hectare down in uh, uh, Fanai, which is more toward the delta of the river, where temperatures are cooler. This discovery can now be used to replace the rice fallow season along the river with durum wheat. The cultivation of this crop requires a minimum investment, which makes it an accessible option for smallholder farmers. And in terms of consumption, durum wheat grains are typically sold at 20 to 30 percent higher price than common wheat because they are preferentially used by the food industry to produce high-value couscous and pasta. The project has already gathered important support from research and political figures in Senegal, a country where there was no wheat production until now. In Mauritania, local farmers and government representatives have recognized the potential for this crop and expressed their will to replace the old varieties with the improved heat-tolerant ones and to continue to expand the production. If properly developed and supported, these heat-tolerant grains could help produce 600,000 tons of new food, improving the life of the smallholder farmer families living along the river. The road ahead is still long. It is essential that national and international partners gather around this discovery to support the establishment of a Durham commercial trade route between the Senegal Valley and the rest of Africa, but also to help train the local farmers to support them with the machineries and the policies that will ensure their success. Thanks to ICARDA's policy to freely share all research discoveries, these varieties can be easily used as practical solutions to fight food insecurity and poverty in the region. Yet, the impact might extend beyond the shores of the Senegal River, since many other regions in Africa and the world are affected by raising temperatures. The capacity of these varieties to withstand this heat stress has potential wide applications. So altogether, with a very small investment, the Swedish Research Council and good work done on the ground by these organizations that believe in durum wheat as a potential a new crop for this region, have yielded some of the results that make me the most happy. And we hope that all together will make this river a river that irrigates everything, everybody, durum wheat among them. Don't